Hello everyone, uh, this is Alex Hu with uh, Creative Model Sky. Um, thank you for spending your time to look at uh, this video and uh, I would like to introduce uh, how to do the uh, rendering on the bare metal finished uh, scale model. This is the uh, focus on the uneven surfaces. Uh, if you have limited time, you only need to spend next 90 seconds to check the fast forwarding uh, preview. And if you get a point, you may skip the rest of the chat. Uh, I will start right away. Okay, now let's talk about the uh, uneven surfaces. Uh, this is just a hobby sharing, so I have no commercial uh, purpose or value at all. So if I talk about anything incorrect, uh, you're welcome to correct me and uh, just a sharing. Uh, there are lots of uneven surface uh, happening on the airplane, on the real airplane. Uh, the most popular topic, of course, that would be B-52. And recently, I did a few uh, kits on the helicopter. I noticed that on the middle session of the helicopter, usually we we can we found the dramatic uh, irregular surface. It could be the because of the stress or because of the weight of the helicopter. Uh, one of the most representative uh, uh, kits uh, coming out from the brand that is uh, Winna Wing. Uh, uh, unfortunately, they closed their uh, uh, business, but uh, their kit is still carried by a Boulder uh, model, and uh, they directly add uh, uh, stress phase on the kits. Uh, of course, it is very expensive, and uh, but. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to do that is, can we use just the painting to replace uh, those uh, uh, uneven surface from the kids, or uh, I use the sanding uh, machine, a router machine to cut it out. So here's an example that I put on the uh, SBD dive um, bomber that is used purely use the painting to try to represent the uh, stress uh, for first surface on the wing. And here is another example I did recently, that is MH-53. Uh, over here, uh, I use sanding or a sanding machine to create some uneven surface on the wheel area, but uh, it's hardly uh, that I can control. And gradually, I gave up the sanding. I used, uh, still I used uh, uh, painting color. You control the brightness and control the saturation to create the uneven surface. You may notice on the right edge of the picture. Uh, that is something I'm trying to do. Um, there are unlimited solutions, but I simply suggest one way, and you definitely could have a better way to do that. Here's another example that uh, uh, in memory to uh, nature disaster happening back in 1958. Uh, 
uh, uh, flood uh, caused a lot of uh, uh, victims in Taiwan and uh, the CH-34 being dispatched to come to the rescue to the victims. And uh, in that, in this case, I use uh, uh, minorly on the sending, but uh, most likely I, I use the different uh, color, different uh, shading, and different uh, saturation. Uh, try to create an uneven surface. Uh, it's quite um, effective uh, on whenever we try to present an old uh, airplane or helicopter. Then the legacy in between uh, my hobby with uh, NFS that is uh, originated many years ago and uh, that was start with uh, uh, almost dumped uh, kits. I use all your color painting, try to create uh, uneven service um, and uh, just uh, randomly uh, a few struck I noticed that uh, uh, we don't have to follow uh, the exactly um, uh, demanded uh, pattern uh, from the uh, from uh, from the history, we can create uh, freely by ourselves. Here is the early days example that uh, each uh, separate piece of panel are uh, being uh, painted with or airbrushed with a different level of the uh, silver color. And here is another example that is a foil wrapping uh, project um, by. Um, take advantage of the uh, the re revive and the panel line from the kids and uh, press it press the foyer to to the kids and after that uh, we use the high lum high number of the sending paper try to send to create uh, the texture of the middle on the airplane uh, it is of course the uh, I wouldn't try to go further on it and uh, I still encourage you to get uh, your personal experience to try it at least once or twice with the foil wrapping uh, project. Uh, it's definitely worth to try. Uh, and uh, of course there is happened uh, once with uh, uh, first think about using a different uh, color or brightness to create an uneven surface uh, on the P38. Um, uh, th this is the uh, case that I did in this year. Uh, I tried to uh, follow a similar pattern and, and uh, end up I don't consider it is an excellent project because it looks like uh, very dumb to just uh, uh, create a similar pattern from from head to the tail but um, uh, I try to uh, the next time I wouldn't follow the similar similar rule and I will try to sum up the changes. The liquor color uh, being used uh, uh, on uh, this beard uh, is primarily only two tone. That is black as a primer and uh, the uh, silver color uh, uh, to represent the aluminum uh, on the surface. Uh, so from the right to the left, you may uh, see uh, for the steel color and uh, uh, the smoke and also not uh, display the black color uh, as the primer part and for the aluminum and the white aluminum uh, as the uh, cover representation for the surface of the airplane. Uh, of course I, lot, I use a lot of uh, thinner and solvent and uh, for the acrylic thinner for the Mononisa on the back that will be the oil color uh, uh, thinner and uh, not highlighted but uh, definitely uh, highly demanded that is the liquor thinner. Liquor thinner can be the uh, airbrush uh, cleaner for all kind of scenarios such as enamel, uh, acrylic, uh, uh, the oil color and uh, as well as uh, lacquer. Almost all kind of uh, possible application we demand the lacquer thinner. And so it is quite useful. For the protection coat, I prefer to use the aqua uh, gross. Uh, it also very effective uh, for all kind of application. Uh, 
uh, those are the uh, thin uh, solvent and uh, protection coating uh, that I've been using. Here I try to introduce you uh, some of the uh, personal favorite. Uh, uh, on from the left side, you may, may notice there's a f flexible short ruler. I use it as a mask uh, for airbrush uh, because uh, for each panel I need to, I wouldn't want to use masking tape. Uh, use a soft ruler will be helpful. And on the right hand side, that is the dimo tape. Uh, I cut it into small pieces and use it for the for the rescribing. Whenever the, there's a gap that I, whenever I put uh, put the paste to it, uh, we will have to send it. After sending, uh, that area will have to be rescribed. So the demo tape will be very instrumental for uh, detail handling. Uh, for this project, I use very limited selection of the um, pens, or only two of the eight, uh, uh, two color pencils from AK and uh, one white pencil. And uh, because the pencil can definitely handle much more detail than the airbrushes, uh, the control could be as limited to one millimeter or two millimeter. Uh, so after that, uh, if we like to have uh, try to smooth the area that we use color pencil, I use a lot of col uh, cotton ball uh, and uh, tiny uh, air tiny brushes try to smooth out. Uh, here, this is the kit. This is the uh, box art uh, I when I receive it. I look at it for a few days, and uh, I notice uh, the top uh, piece and the bottom piece of the um, airplane is so uh, brilliant, and uh, the, and to the extent of the NF, NFS can uh, can be. And after I put together the two pieces of the fuselage, I put it next to the box art, and I noticed that in, count, in order to meet the uh, condition as the box art, box art show, I will have to uh, draw each panel uh, piece by piece. Uh, it's quite extensive, uh, but uh, since it's a hobby, we, we were willing to accept it. So uh, just. I, I know it's quite suffer, but uh, uh, well, uh, I'm glad to take it. Um, for the picture showing the Buffalo Airways, uh, th that is to my knowledge, the the very last uh, commercial um, uh, sh air shelter that provided by uh, this um, vendor, and uh, that was on late 70, late 80. And actually, the DC-3 was uh, introduced uh, back in 1935, and uh, uh, and it, because of the World War II, there are uh, contracts in between the U.S. and uh, USSR, and so that the DC-3 not uh, being manufactured in the States as well as uh, USSR, and also uh, we we in China in old China we have a lot of. Uh, Bus air, air shuttle using DC-3, so it has uh, a different name. DC-3 for the civilian use and uh, C-47 for the uh, uh, for the military use. And uh, to collect a lot of uh, reference picture is uh, one of the uh, very uh, critical um, mission for me for whenever I start a project. Uh, for this one, you may look at. Uh, this very aging and uh, weathered uh, um, NFS uh, uh, body, so that uh, you, you may notice the, not just uh, the stress, uh, as well as the, the, the surface being suffering from the impact uh, of the snow and raining, and so that it create a lot of irregular surface, and also the painting, uh, you may notice the paint is faded or chipping. Uh, those are uh, the, some of the extreme situation. If a model can reach that extended, that would be brilliant. But um, anyone can hardly reach the three uh, dimension. So, uh, because um, the focus of myself uh, of this year is on the stress and on the irregular surface. So this project only focus on the stress part. 
Okay, uh, let's start to talk about the uh, uh, building and the weathering process. Uh, I only uh, try to uh, address on the anything uh, beyond the, the surface. Uh, so you may notice that because the kids are quite uh, huge in size, the wingspan is about uh, uh, 50 centimeter, so it's quite large. So I keep it separated independently uh, until the final moment. Uh, the the two wing, the fuselage, and uh, the engine are in, are separated into four pieces. And here are uh, here is the uh, primary st stage, and you may notice that uh, for uh, for the NFS. If you like to have the most sh shining area, you will have to make the primer the darkest uh, area, and because we are looking for a uh, irregular and natural presentation, so I wouldn't want to uh, paint the primer all over the body to the hundred percent uh, black. Uh, some of the area are lighter, some of the area are darker, so it, it's. Um, uh, intentionally to make it uneven uh, from the very beginning. After the primer, I start to working on the pre-shading. For the pre-shading, I uh, is uh, uh, fundamental for uh, highlight uh, which area will be brighter, which area will be darker, and uh, I try to use a very uh, uh, delicate control that is uh, very low uh, air pressure and uh, the highly diluted uh, uh, color. Uh, for the first time, I used uh, with 50% of the white and 50% of the thinner. Um, still, I consider it's uh, too dramatic, uh, so later I change it to uh, white uh, and uh, mixed with uh, gang middle. Uh, for each uh, small piece of the panel, you may notice uh, it's always brighter on the right edge and uh, uh, top edge, and that's being controlled by the s soft or flexible ruler on the top. Uh, see here, uh, I and so. Gradually, I can have a better control and try to set the foundation of the each panel. And the income, see, the airbrush can only present a more smooth uh, change of the surface. Uh, going back to the winner wing uh, surface, um, if you look at winner wing surface here, uh, you may notice uh, the uh, change of the the depth is quite dramatically. And, but uh, not on the airbrush. So some of the enhancement cannot be done by the airbrush. Um, later we will address that with uh, color pencil. Um, but at least we try to meet the purpose for creating a regular surface uh, with the airbrush and set the foundation for everything uh, forward from here. Because of the uh, first round, that is, uh, we can hardly locate the uh, present the three dimension feeling. Uh, after the first round, the cover is only make uh, every color being covered, but not actually see any um, uh, uneven presentation. Uh, on, on this one, I try to put emphasis on the left hand side and uh, try to put more one on one on some of the area so that a little bit uh, feeling of the uneven surface is now uh, presented on the left, left, left side of the picture.
And here uh, I uh, proceed with the second round of the primary color uh, covering. And you may notice the, uh, on the right edge of the wing, uh, a little bit of feeling, a more consistent feeling is appearing. And that is, uh, we will have to consistently add in uh, some more layer uh, uh, times and times. So the feeling will won't, won't go up directly but after you repeat for two to three times, you will get the point uh, for uh, start to get a little bit um, uh, the, the, the stress feeling on the wing and on every area. And this is the, the uh, right wing. And uh, uh, you may notice a lot of on, on regular surface uh, not following the panel line or the panel itself uh, because the nature itself is uh, irregular. So we will have to follow the nature rule. Uh, so I start working on the fuselage. Uh, again, you may notice that the, the fixed patterns that will be on the top edge. Uh, I try to put uh, uh, diluted white color and uh, mixed white color on the top edge of each panel. And uh, the process, of course, take an uh, extremely long time because there could be uh, hundreds of the panels on the fuselage. Uh, the process ongoing and uh, extended to two sides, extended from the, from the head to the tail, and also to to the um, to the balance. Uh, Okay, uh, now I start to put uh, uh, the primary color on it uh, and again uh, that will be lacquer color and uh, highly diluted uh, for the first round. It's commonly uh, pattern that uh, you wouldn't see much effectiveness uh, on the first round and uh, but you will have to control it carefully. Uh, the accident occurred uh, uh, very uh, frequently so you have to control very carefully and on the cargo door you may notice a little bit feeling now is appearing and on the head area you may notice the, the stomach area of the the head uh, is uh, get you a little bit feeling about the stress surface and here uh, you may notice the wing area uh, you 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 will see the irregular surface on the wing area and on that and then on the next picture you may notice uh, the, the fuselage start to get some feeling this is the after the second round of the uh, uh, the primary color uh, covering and then both are go through highly diluted uh, lacquer yeah, surprising and the accident happened during the oil color wash uh, period. I mixed the three color and uh, uh, high, highly diluted with uh, uh, Mona Lisa uh, oil color uh, thinner and I put a thin coat to all over the wing and the fuselage uh, because it's an uh, extremely heat wave during uh, in my local so I put it into to my garage for two days and unfortunately after two days of baking and uh, uh, it's very difficult to remove it uh, I noticed uh, uh, the unexpected uh, accident happening and try to use the towel to clean up and still even though I try to wipe out very carefully still you can see very strong uh, oil wash uh, being left uh, on the wing and uh, uh, luckily uh, I can cover it with uh, uh, the, the next step that is uh, very thin lacquer uh, and you may still tell that uh, on the lower edge of each panel it's still quite dark and the upper edge of each panel is still uh, remains brightness and now is uh, the third round of the covering and uh, now I start to use the uh, 106 uh, but uh, that color being only used uh, on certain uh, brightness demanded area that is on the top edge or on uh, on certain uh, specified area and uh, but you we will have to control the airbrush uh, carefully and uh, limit it to the uh, specific area and again this is the another side of the picture um, so uh, go go on for uh, 
the same process for the uh, hole uh, from the uh, head to the tail from right wing to the uh, left left wing so uh, it's a long long time process but um, um, as long as you can tell the uh, uneven surface and uh, uh, appealing gradually you will be satisfied for what's being progressed and at this uh, stage I consider I can go no further on the airbrush and this is the, the fast uh, I can do and uh, I consider I will move on to the next phrase that is uh, the final uh, post rendering with uh, color pencil uh, usually the color pencil um, is highly dedicated and uh, if you control it well uh, you will receive surprisingly resolve uh, from the uh, good use of the color pencil and uh, uh, for this one I only use two kind of color the dark gray uh, and the other one is dark gray blue uh, very beginning I use uh, limit my s selection to the dark gray but the results are very limited later I start to use uh, dark gray blue and I noticed uh, I can uh, try to um, put it harder and uh, then I use the cotton ball to try to smooth it out uh, I usually can get a re good result and you may notice from the a few top panel with a uh, white stroke on it uh, that is uh, only after I put on the uh, white color pencil on it uh, before I stroke it uh, before I use color button to try to smooth it out and with uh, a few stroke of the uh, cotton ball and then we can deliver a very uh, good result and the smoothly result f from the color pencil and from there uh, okay <laughs> because the, it's, the process is quite long and I always always play the YouTube along with the, uh, the, the, the process as a white noise and uh, on the fuselage uh, on, uh, you may notice that a few panel the lower edge of the panel are been darkened by the uh, color pencil before it's being smoothed out and uh, so that's a fixed pattern and that will apply to almost uh, every panel on the airplane uh, so the, here is the final reviewing stage um, I tried to uh, check it uh, not following the regular uh, pattern just follow a, a irregular uh, rule uh, so that it will look like more nature and then just uh, follow the panel line follow the uh, the panel itself um, and uh, look at from the other side uh, gradually you may notice uh, some of the irregular surface are appealing and um, usually this is the uh, very last stage I will look at it from different angle and uh, uh, on a Sunday afternoon I start to uh, consider taking picture for it this is the first round of the uh, picture uh, photo shooting and uh, because I used to check the, my result from the a large screen uh, almost 30 inch screen so that I can look into more detail and know where to modify it where to improve it even some of the uh, missing area uh, I can I know uh, I need to uh, make up for it uh, so this is uh, the fir very first one that uh, I took picture in the uh, Sunday afternoon uh, with the uh, sun set and uh, under the shade uh, so that uh, the uh, area are not as bright as expected uh, but many of the area is good enough uh, to present and uh, for me that is a self inspection process uh, I noticed that the uh, cargo door are good enough and uh, also but the fuselage itself are overworked so I need to reduce uh, its um, uneven surfaces and uh, our, or other area could be okay or uh, almost okay but that can be in further modified uh, with uh, a few uh, adjustment with the color pencil or with uh, the minor airbrush touch
again it's a picture of being taken on the same day and uh, uh, try to uh, look at it from different angle uh, so this is actually the day uh, after uh, the two days after the first uh, photo session and uh, most of the area I consider need to be improved has been done and uh, you may notice it's quite chaos and but this is the way I like I like to uh, make it more nature than just a uh, human made uh, uh, just uh, uh, following a fixed pattern to uh, aid the color and so and also it is in the early morning uh, with a cloudy sky and and but still is uh, cloudy and not uh, bright enough to show every detail corner of the airplane but that's the way how I like it and uh, and from this picture I fully demonstrate uh, the stomach area and uh, and I hope that, that, um, that this is one of the successful picture of, of the, this model building and this one is compared to the box R that I mentioned in the very beginning of the video uh, the top edge of the um, DC3 is uh, presented piece by piece and also the stomach uh, has been showing its um, uh, stress surface uh, with uh, irregular um, presentation I always thought about uh, with uh, full uh, sunny condition will be the best uh, occasion to present uh, uh, bare metal uh, service uh, finished uh, uh, model. So I choose uh, noon time that is about 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon and uh, the sun is about uh, 20 to uh, 30 degree uh, on the top and uh, I try to take a few pictures. You may tell that uh, each, almost each panel of the, each deep, each panel could be presented in the full extended. Uh, so this is the, the, the best opportunity to present it. When I look at the box art, I notice that they display it in horizontal position so that I make the change. So I use uh, a mooncake uh, case. Uh, to lift up the, the tail part of the model and uh, I take a picture and remove the background and you may look at the, the next picture to see what's the effectiveness of the removing the background okay so I can refer, uh, change it back and forth you may notice that uh, with the uh, rem removing background that is uh, I try to make a statement that is uh, uh, I believe what I believe the model all over the world there are many masterpieces and uh, whenever we saw a model presented by the uh, artist with the oil color painting I feel hey for the model we should uh, find our uh, way to present ourselves uh, the excellent model can always replace those oil color paint uh, on the box art uh, okay that's my just my sharing and hope that uh, that will create some of the uh, enjoy for your model creating I hope I can meet you next time uh, on my next video thank you for watching and enjoy the day thank you bye bye